sometimes Betsy needs encouraging to eat and she likes eating when I'm stroking her. So I give her a little supported feed. Good morning everyone. I I am going to make you a little promise which is that I'm going to get in the shower and get dressed at some point today even if it's only for an hour because I'm fed up of seeing myself on camera in my pyjamas. Okay. I hope you're all right. I hope you slept well. I had a brilliant long sleep. I'm sorry I didn't get yesterday's vlog up till this morning, but it was about it was around 10 o'clock when I was um when I finished editing it and so then it takes you know between an hour and a couple of hours to upload and so I thought I'll just leave it uploading overnight and pop it on in the morning which I did so as a result I had a nice long sleep and fairly uninterrupted so that was brilliant um so hopefully I am looking a bit more rested not sure what the plan is for today because this mysterious delivery is still waiting to happen. Ian's just on the phone to the parcel to the courier company. Hopefully gonna try and get an ETA because if they just say it's gonna to be today, then that's the worst thing, just waiting, isn't it? Even if I might be in all day anyway, I need Ian to help with it and he needs to go out. So Betsy's feeling a little off color after her injections yesterday. That usually happens, she usually has about 24 or 48 hours of being a bit sleepy and she's needed a bit of an assisted feed this morning which I've given her and I filmed for you very cute and at the moment she is bedding down on my hot boot which is one of those heated foot warmer things um, which when it's under the blanket she absolutely loves to uh, bed down on and she's doing that at the moment so she's very cute I think I will get up and shower now and then I'm gonna sew for a bit my hair's gone bazonkers. Right. Um, thank you for all your comments on what to do about my fitting on these dresses. I have taken the advice of Trisha English who commented and said why not baste in a zip which was a much better idea than just getting Ian to pin the back because you know you never know whether they're pinning right on the seam line or um, it's just not as good, is it? So I basted in a zip, a very, very rubbish sort of baste. I just used a regular zip. I'm going to insert an invisible zip when it comes to uh, actually putting it in for real. But yeah, the fit is a lot better. I feel like it isn't so wide on my shoulders that I really need to worry about it looking at it. So I'll turn the camera around so you can view it properly. So that's the fit. I think it's all right. This neckline needs a lot of pressing. I haven't really pressed it at all. I actually stitched in the ditch to keep the facing down. Um, but that hopefully will sit a little bit flatter when it's pressed out. But if you remember, I said I'm gonna put a small dart in the pattern for next time. Good fit around the bust, I think. That's pointing right at my apex. If you wanna know where my nipples are uh, and Yes, maybe it does go a little bit far out here. Maybe I will take a little bit off that. The fit on the back isn't as good, but you know, I am worried about, I'll let you see a bit better. I'm always worried about taking too much out of the back because I'm worried about not being able to move my arms because when I move my arms forward, that fit on the back's good. So I'm just worried about if I take any more out of it, then I don't want to be in a position where I can't move. So it's not too bad. Let me try the other one on. Okay, so this is the frilly one. Again, I need to do a lot of work on the neckline pressing. And I mean, it has been understitched, but I need to trim the seam allowance a bit more. The fit's looking pretty good. I think maybe I will do that little adjustment on the shoulders. I think it will annoy me if I don't do it. Um, so yeah, let's take a little bit out there. Hmm. And baste them back in and see, I guess. So that's where I've got to. Right. Uh, it might be little. It might be nap time in a bit. 
Betsy's okay. She's sort of, she's quite quiet, but she did just, she usually eats around two o'clock and it's 10 to two now. And she just came and um, asked for some food. So we had a little munch together. Well, I stoked her, she ate, but she's okay. She's just uh, lying low for a little bit. Ooh, also news. I got a delivery today. It is this book. It's by Sarah Alm. Alm? Presumably it's pronounced Alm. Not Alm. Don't know. Not read it. Well, I've read the first couple of pages, but not had a chance to read it fully. But I've got high hopes for it. It looked very much like it was written by a sewist who had learn pattern pattern making and pattern design but coming from the position of using commercial patterns the problem i'm having with a lot of um, pattern drafting books is that they are written for fashion designers or people working in the garment industry and not only are they a little bit technical but they actually make a lot of assumptions about things that you will know and when you're making patterns for garment production, it's different in some ways to making them for a garment that you're gonna wear yourself. Um, and I was hoping, just looking at the little Amazon, uh, look inside the book thing preview, it looked like this person might be coming from the dress home dressmaking perspective. So I will have a good look at this, and if it's good, obviously I will recommend it to you. If it's rubbish, I'll let you know that as well. Just went down to the post and collected a couple of PDF patterns that I had printed by net printer. But they are both by waffle patterns. I've never used waffle patterns before. But I think, you know me, I'm not a big um, indie pattern girl, but I really like waffle patterns. They have got loads of outerwear designs and I think their designs are really interesting and unusual. And I've bought the snowball high neck dress which is slightly reminiscent of the Tilly and the Buttons Martha dress in that it's got large these long princess seams and a sweeping skirt I'm not sure if the skirt's cut on the bias um and a high neck which I really like so I think that would look nice made up in like something maybe even a fleece with the seams kind of top stitched over. I think I used to have a dress like that, really warm, like a wool kind of fabric. The other one that I've got is more of a summer pattern, but it's the cookie. Uh, it's called a blouse on, but we would call it, or a blouson, we would call it a jacket. And it's got this lovely curved yoke with gathering underneath. And I, although you often see that in shirts, you don't often see it in jackets. So I thought that was uh, fun. I bought them both on Black Friday. They were doing, I think, 20% off their patterns, uh, which made them really quite reasonable. And I had a voucher that I won last year from Netprinter to get uh, them printed. So it worked out quite, quite bargainous for me. Betsy's asleep on my foot warmer underneath that blanket. And my feet are cold, so I'm having to wrap them in my hoodie.